What's going on guys, it's your boy Rafika Shmikla, the Sightless Savage. Today I'm going to be starting a new video series about how to navigate iOS slash iPad or your iPhone's operating system with low vision. And today I'll be discussing Zoom and large text. So you can enable Zoom by going into settings. And navigate to accessibility and you've got zoom here and there are loads of options that you can choose from so if I triple tap and then move my hand up and down I can zoom in and out of the full screen and if I triple tap on the screen it brings up the zoom controller which gives you the ability to do things like change it from full screen to a windowed zoom, which is like this. And then you can use your hand, your single finger to move the magnifier up and down. Sort of similar to the old bar magnifiers that you used to get on, um, on you know, the old ones that you used to use on paper. Only thing is, I don't really like this too much, so I tend to stick with full screen zoom, unless I'm typing. There we go. So, so you've got the maximum zoom level here. I just leave it as default, but you can, like, really turn it up. So like you can proper, proper zoom in if you really need to. I don't, so I'm just going to keep it there for now. But you've also got other options, like keyboard shortcuts. You can turn them on or off. The zoom controller, which I turn off, because you can just bring it up by triple tapping. Zoom filter, none. I don't like filters. But... What you can what you can do is you can make it go grayscale and all the modes like that you get on your CCTV like high contrast stuff like that. And then if you've turned smart typing on and follow focus, that basically means let's say I go into the notes app. Let's create a new note here. If I zoom in GF I don't know why it's not working. It's a bit buggy, but what normally happens is it automatically switches. Let's try it on YouTube. Nope, for some reason, it's decided to stop working. Let's try turning them on and off. So now if it's... Nope, still not working. There must be a bug where it doesn't work in the screen recording, but what it does is it... It switches it back to that window zoom you saw earlier and focuses it just to the key above the keyboard so your keyboard stays at a regular size. I'll try and dump a screenshot on. And the next main feature is large text. So if I bring down the control center, you can turn the text all the way up and have your neat without having to zoom you can now have everything on the on the phone bigger so you've got magnifier display text size which is basically that so to turn that on you've got bold text on large text on, large text on and when you turn that on you can set your mag maximum size on off labels reduce transparency so that reduces things like the transparency on the screen so these are all like the magnific magnification ones you've got smart invert classic invert Colour filters, which again I don't use. 
you can reduce the white point of the screen if you like sensitive and you've also got auto brightness we'll come to audio descriptions and all this sort of stuff later on so side button that's how you, you can control how quick your lock button responds you've got hearing devices sound recognition audio visual subtitle note so the accessibility shortcut so this is where you can set a triple tap and everything that you select on here will appear on the accessibility shortcut so if i triple tap the lock button hang on, it comes up there with the accessibility shortcut thing is i don't use that anymore because if you can see i've got a different control center so i have my accessibility shortcut here so i'll just accidentally disable zoom and you can add everything in your control center if you go into your control center settings you can add all the buttons I don't know what full keyboard access means but so basically i'm just going to demonstrate the finger movements for zoom so if i unlock my device and triple tap i can zoom in by moving three fingers up and down so it's two finger tap to zoom in out and you just move your phone up and down to bring up the zoom control menu you just one two three and it pops up there and then it's tapping anywhere it gets rid of it so basically that's it for zoom Um, i'm gonna be doing a whole series of this so if there's anything you think i've missed and you want me to cover like for example i can't be bothered showing the grayscale because it literally hurts my eyes but i will do it on request um, if there's anything else you want to know, I will be covering, next time I will be covering all the speech input, well, not speech input, but I'll be, you know, all the spoken content on the phone, for, so like, the way the iPhone can read stuff back to you, um, and stuff like that basically, the ne next it will be speech, and then the third video will be how you can add shortcuts to it all, and basically... You know how you can tie it all together and customize it to suit your needs so this video is zoom the next will be spoken content and actually i'll do another video on the actual built-in magnifier that you can use to look at the real world and then i will be showing a video about how to get it all laid out and set up the way you want so that you can switch between the two seamlessly without having to go in and out of settings so i hope to see you on the next one guys this is rafikish me class signing off